We're backstage at the Michael Kors show, getting ready to start. Michael always does something very classic, very American, with a twist of Hollywood glam, so I can't wait to see what he's going to do today. I have some wonderful photographs from the 70s of Patty Hansen and Lisa Taylor, where they kind of look very undone, but very sexy at the same time. And I really wanted the collection to have that kind of languid, sporty, sexy ease. Their hair's all fly away, and wispy, and undone, and it's in a ponytail. master of sort of comfort cool. He showed lots of, um, you know, camels and grays, all the colors of the season. The fur mixed in, the girls look beautiful, the dress shapes, the sort of coats. And every single person today needs one of those parkas with the fur trim just to keep warm. So everything was great. The styling was perfect, the hair, the makeup. It was just one of those shows when it comes together. You're just so happy to see beautiful things that not only you want to shoot, but you want to buy. You know, we think about women who are so stylish, you know, women like Lauren Hutton, women like Kate Moss. These women always do the one thing that twists it. Um, so I kind of love that contradiction. That was one of the highlights of Fashion Week for sure. It had such a glamour and a sexiness about it. And you look at those clothes and you just think that's what fashion's all about. And as you can see, I'm wearing my tour. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much. It looks amazing. What were some of the inspirations? It's about how fashion and art are constantly inspiring each other and playing off each other. Yeah. And we're all going to an art gallery, basically. Right. And having fun with it. And having fun with it. And hopefully, how I would want to wear it. Yeah, exactly. I love like mixing the sparkles with like the hiking boots. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much.